hi guys and welcome to this channel veteran nigerian actress joke silver has finally revealed what is happening to her husband olu jacobs um after the concerns people raised over her husband's health now veteran actress joke silver in an interview with journalist today ATA, she sat down with him to talk about some life changes that she has been experiencing and then she revealed what is going on with olu jacobs over the years though people have noticed that for somebody who has a very vibrant you know personality who has um, a stature that is enviable for a man in his 80s olu jacobs um physical appearance as they deteriorating and a lot of people raised concerns especially with his most recent public appearance at the 2021 afri right in november where he won where he received the lifetime achievement award himself and his wife went there to receive the awards and a lot of people raised concerns concerning what um olu jacob looked like now his wife has finally addressed it and has revealed what is happening to her husband now according to her he's dealing with dementia with louis buddy in her own words that he's been dealing with it for a couple of years now and um the family is struggling but of course they are staying through to him this is the first time that joker silver will be saying what is wrong with her husband in public uh, when you search what dementia is, it is um, an impaired ability to remember, think or make decisions and it interferes with doing everyday activities. Now, dementia with do um, little body is even one of the, the second most common kind of um, progressive dementia after Alzheimer's disease, right? Now, this one, the one that he has um allows visual hallucinations to happen changes in alertness and attention you know they they have tremors they have rigid muscles they don't walk fast they have slow movement walking difficulty among others and guys if you are a true fan of olu jacobs you must have followed his career for a while and you remember that towards the ending of his career paolo jacobs i mean a lot of us myself included attributed it to just you know old age Baba is now old, right? He was in his 80s and we felt like, you know, the slow movements, characteristics of an old person. But then there was a tremor. His hands were constantly shaking in his movies. But we didn't know. I mean, we did know he had a diagnosis then. And the wife already said it's something that he's been facing for a couple of years now. In fact, when her own sister, Joke Silver's sister, died of cancer in 2019, she couldn't really pay attention to her sister when she was undergoing her own chemotherapy because her husband, too, you know, had illness that she needed to be there to for him. Him, you know um and it kind of quite, quite sad because she lost her sister and her husband health is still you know very much failing oh that, that it's sad for somebody to go through with that so the signs have been there because we were not private to it we did not know that was what was happening but somebody said that the afri 2021 award i mentioned just now that she saw that video and she saw him collecting the award and while they were there, the picture that trended that even made a lot of people talk was um, another picture that made people talk, not the one that trended particularly, was the one where Jacque Silver was showing her husband a lot of love. You know, she was over him, you know, showering with kisses. And someone was like, we weren't, we weren't paying attention, that like, if you had paid attention, would have noticed that. Um, the excessive showering of love was not totally a show of affection. Of course, I mean, it's a show of affection, but it was born out of the fact that Olu Jacobs was kind of pushing Joker Silva away. And you know, with dementia, you tend to forget people. You don't remember a lot of things albeit temporary it might be, depending on the severity of your illness, right? And that was what Olu Jacobs, that she saw it and she was telling her husband like, oh my goodness, something is wrong with Olu Jacobs, the strange signs of dementia. And so, Jacques Silver said it now has confirmed what she thought. You know, that was just a follower commenting that it has now confirmed what she thought was happening to him when she was pushing, when he was pushing her away. And it was like, he didn't really remember her, but she was just kissing him and being all over him. I'm like, don't come and disgrace me in public. I mean, that's just a joke to her. I'm not sure that's where it's coming from. But like, um, I got to take care of you before it leaks to the press that something is wrong and then we were at the award show our award ceremony and you were pushing me you know that kind of thing but it's it's one of those things it's a sign of old age is was born in 1942 so of course baba is old 11th of july his real name is actually olu dotson by jacobs and he studied art at the royal academy of drama art dramatic arts has been acting since 1970 that's up to 50 years now while her husband um while her wife his wife rather joker silva is celebrating 40 years on stage 
um they married on set i guess it was acting the logicals was acting they met themselves and then in 1989 started dating and they got married he's received several awards i mean africa movie academy awards he's received that he's received uh afbc africa magic viewers choice awards lifetime achievements awards the afro 2021 lifetime achievements award you know he's done a lot of british movies he did a lot of nigerian movies his last movie was royal um abyss hotel was that the title now popular yeah royal abyss hotel that was the last that featured the now late um rachel onega right that was his last movie now another veteran in the industry Prince Jide Kosoko has expressed his best wishes to his colleagues Olu Jacobs and Jacques Silva. He said that um, Olu Jacobs did not suffer. He's sure of that. And he also commended Jacques Silva for sticking with her husband at a rather challenging period of his life. And people are like, okay, what was she supposed to do? Leave him? <laughs> you know? Another person was like, oh, her parents, her mom is also suffering from this disease and she just hopes that, you know, treatments, it's, it's, it's not known to be treated. There is no permanent treatment that can heal the situation. It can just be maintained. But progressively, he, he would at one point actually forget all of them. And it's just sad thinking that he would probably at one point forget all of his life works, all of his careers. It's over 50 years. I mean, I think I feel like that's why people say you should build a legacy because even when you forget yourself, when you are gone, that will continue to speak for you. It will take solace in the fact that you impacted a lot of people or you impacted something in a lot of people while you were here. Because with his career that spanned over 50 years, it's kind of sad, you know, forgetting that he once did a show at the, you know, at the Royal Theatre in London, the Royal Court Theatre London at the Dublin Theatre Festival in 1971. He did a show there. Remembering that ah, you've acted alongside Bode Shumande and Ken um, Sarariwa, the Phoenix Theatre in London. He did a show there in 1978, Night and Day. Oh, goodness gracious. It can be quite sad to think that he would forget things like that. Ashanti in 1979. But we can only wish him well, right? We can only wish him well. He trained at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, like I said, and he worked with various repertoire theatres in Britain and starred in a lot of international movies before coming down to Nigeria here, right? And acting. Both of them on the Lufodo Group, a media corporation that consists of film production, distribution assets, and the Lufodo Academy of Performing Arts, which was what the teen told us he wanted to retire into facing professionally when they announced his retirement from acting but if you look at the timeline and everything you'd understand that for the sake of his health he couldn't continue acting i mean it'd be quite sad to have to give up something you love because your your brain is no longer understanding what is happening but guys let me know what you think a lot of people have you know showered in comium on chicken silver a lot of people have sympathized with them i just hope for strength for the family because it's kind of trying and you require a lot of strength to go through something like this oh guys but let me know what you think i'll be waiting for you in the comment section if you enjoyed this video don't give it a thumbs up um share one two three people let them know what's going on with olu jacobs so they can also you know say a word of prayer for the jacobs family the sylvia family and everything in between i'll see you in the next video though guys until then take care of yourself and bye